test yourself as well as the hazard perception it's zero percent only 43 percentage of the people who attended the theory exam passed i'm just gonna open the paper and read it out i got only 44 out of 75 uh, because i read a blog which says that you don't need a lot of time to prepare for this yeah obviously that's what we do right when we are not prepared for an exam what we do is can we study the entire course in less than 10 hours maybe a day that's what i did so i know blog it says that you can just take around like 20 to 24 hours to prepare so i've got like exact 22 hours and i haven't made any progress so i'm just opening my app to show you um how the progress looks like so it's my theory test app and you can see up here that this one says it's just 15 percentage progress the first one yeah i tried and the other two the test yourself as well as the hazard perception it's zero percent so i'm basically still on the start line I'm way far from the whole finishing this thing. I'm trying to understand what I need to prepare for this theory exam. So I am going to do this. So if you are with me on this, let's go. Drum rolls, guys. I passed. I passed the theory exam. Um, I can't believe it. I kind of put myself in a lot of pressure, I have to be honest. Um, I could have changed the date. Um, so like I said, it was Monday that I could change, but I did not. And I made sure that i studied i i went through all the mcqs i went through all the hazard perception like i showed you i hadn't started with anything it was barely like 15 percent progress but by like wednesday i was almost done thursday evening i did like a quick revision and while i was studying i made sure that i was making note of like very important things like if it is a sign which is in blue if it is in a square what to do if it is in a, tri a triangle what to do so all of those things i was like you know drawing a uh, drawing and coloring so i'm more of like a visual learner so i could get done with this and i'm very happy validated and confirmed you don't need more than like 30 hours to prepare i did it in within like 20 to 24 hours less than 24 hours to be honest because the weekends that i had planned to study i had visitors i couldn't i couldn't dedicate the entire time to study but i kind of split it after work after my work i would just sit and do like two hours of studies the sources that were given to us like the official um, uh, website the app is very useful in the website i was able to find mock tests and also hazard perception tests i attended those those questions are very important so that's a pro tip i would give you like attend the uh, mock exams that are there on the website and also attend the three mock tests that is there on the official app very helpful very useful when you go and attend the exam you will find those similar questions coming also or the the same exact questions coming so just go for it to explain how the day went i took the 9 a.m appointment i went to the center they would check you in they would ask you to switch off your phone then there is lockers and everything in the uh, center itself so you can lock your uh, bags if it is a big bag they have big lockers so you can use those and after that you have to come and uh, give your name they ask for signature they also ask if you have chosen any kind of like assistance i had chosen for hearing the instructions could be read out to me or the questions could, could be read out to me so it was very useful um because i find like when there are so many questions i kind of tend to get bored so i may not read the questions so it was very useful for me and after that uh, you take the seat for next five minutes and then they call you in they do a security checks check for devices after that you go inside a room which is a cctv monitor then you start attending the questions so basically there's a lot of time you don't have to rush through anything i could attend the whole question go back again check all of them and then i still had like a few like 20 minutes left so i was like i don't want to keep on rechecking the question so i ended the test it was very um, useful and easy I knew like I was making mistake in four to five of them and that's how my the results also reflect the same thing for the MCQ I'm just gonna open the paper and read it out so for the MCQ part I got 46 out of 50 and uh, for the hazard perception um, I got only 44 out of 75 so I can tell you what went wrong for me so we usually practice in a, a small screen in our phones and when you start looking at the um, test and when you are in the test you are facing a big screen I was sitting too close to the screen and as there are um, uh, various uh, questions where there is a lot of maneuver so the driver would just take the car and there's blind side so i was really focusing hard looking at that big screen i i tended to have that migraine and a 
couldn't focus much i would ask you to like you know take break um uh, so there is like a 2 to 3 minutes break after the mcq to the uh before starting the hazard perception always uh take a screen break you cannot get up from your seat obviously but you can take a screen break and then start um uh, which is very useful and because because you you have to attend all of these questions and you're focusing really uh keenly to find the errors and hazards you tend to put a, a lot of strain there uh, that's why i i can say that but i i thought i was able to spot all the hazards and it, it went well for me but my results say otherwise i am just passed so 44 out of 75 trust me i did really well <laughs> in the app i was able to spot uh, all the hazards and i was making all of the correct um it was all timed correctly but you know it it was not working well so yeah that's it some of the questions like you know they are very basic common sense questions which we can answer second type of questions are like you know you should think what the question is about and what the answer would be expected from our driver so based on that and third uh, type of questions are like you really need to know the information to pass the exam like you know what if this the sign is shown which one would you choose and what if this sign is shown behind a truck what does that mean and if there is a seat belt question uh, for a child how what will that be for an adult what will that be so all of those kind of questions but i also went through the highway code um i went through the like you know i would just randomly search what is the difference between motorway and dual carriageway just to have an idea because these these were new words for me since i don't drive here uh, and i don't have a car i don't usually take the road it's basically trained for me so i would i would suggest that in case instead of just uh, going and like you know going past the modules i would actually ask you to go through some research check for any images that would be helpful that would stay in your mind and yeah like how i did maybe making some small drawings um um would be helpful uh like some distances etc so all of those things you can just write it down and just brush through before you attend the exam so that's how easy it is uh you don't need much time to prepare for it so don't stress yourself out um i also have a statistics that was sent to me just before the day of the exam um as a reminder that uh in 2023 only 43% of the people who attended the theory exam passed oh i was like okay where do i lie <laughs> am i the 43 or the 57 so i was confused but luckily i'm the 43 who passed so i hope you are also able to pass the exam successfully so i wish you all the best till we meet next ciao